Hi, welcome back all of you. And the second session of this IoT actually is a very tough exercise actually. I mean, keenly watch and then shoot questions. <clears throat> so let me go there. I will not share my screen. Yes, sir. Accounting issue is sorted out. Very good, very good, very good. So Sigil has uh, sorted out the accounting issue on the uh, what about the currency conversion now? Fine, that is now sorted out. So you won't be facing that problem actually. Great. Please attend this training. He will not teach you a lot. No, fine. He has got a lot to teach. No, fine. Here, this itself you will understand about how difficult it is in the intra transfers. And so, uh, management is expecting you to do the supply chain costing. Fine. So that what happens? You have to do it. No, fine. Now, in the intra transfers, what happens? If you go there, you can open up this file actually. If you go there, the 13th file on the additional docs records file. Right? On the additional docs records file, 13th file, if you go there. Thank you, Monica. So now, what I'm going to do is, I have now received in the destination org. Actually. So we have to, first of all, make a receipt accounting. So we received in the gate, and then afterwards, we, what happens, delivered into the sub inventory. So the first activity is to make a receipt accounting right? on the destination org. So we'll now do the destination or visit accounting. Remember, my GRN number is 1002. My transfer order number is what? 1000, uh, uh, 2001. Transfer order number is 2001. GRN number is 1002. Fine. Remember those things. Thank God. So the first activity is receipt accounting. The cost accounting has got periods. Fine. So for which, what happened? The GL has to be opened first. And then afterwards, your cost accounting period has to be opened. Whereas receipt accounting do not have any periods at all. Receipt accounting do not have any periods at all. <clears throat> So let us now first of all push the transaction from our inventory into the receipt accounting area. Go there. So we'll now push it now. Thank you, monitor. We'll go there. So in the monitor process, what happens? You go there. Click on the schedule new process. Fine, go there. So this time, what happens? It is not transfer transaction from inventory costing, but from receiving to costing actually. Then go there. I will know what happens. I make it transfer transactions. Fine. Percentage receiving, percentage cost, percentage. It is a transfer transactions receiving to costing. And read. Better. So it will not come in. Fine. Now we are going to transfer the transactions to the receiving area to the costing. Fine, click on again. It is on the second log, remember. Fine, click on again. Go there. So it doesn't have any parameter at all. No parameter. Fine, click on submit. Whatever has been received into the receiving area, fine. It will all be pushed in the interface tables of receipt, receipt accounting. Fine, click on submit. It will all go into the receipt accounting. Fine, click on The process was submitted. Fine, click on again. Okay, now running. So we will not see whether it gets completed now. Now we don't need to open any periods and then we can create the distribution straight away on the what happens on the receipt area? Transfer transaction from receipt to costing fine. Go there, no running. So we can directly go there and then do this. So transfer transactions from receipt to costing. We are not running it now. Fine, go there. And then once it is completed, we can very well go ahead and then do the receipt accounting now. We will now create the distributions for the receiving actually. Go there. So we'll now go to the place. Fine, go there. So click on done now. Uh, Nana, uh, why do we need to transfer from inventory receiving? Separate. Yeah, yeah. We have a single program for all. No, no, no. Everything will be running on a periodic fashion. Fine. Right? It'll all be running on a 15 minutes duration or 20 minutes duration. So no need to. What happens? Run it uh, every time. In the field. What happens? All these things will be scheduled concurrence. Actually, no need to run it. Only for the training we are running it. Got it now. So click on it. Nobody will run it manually. Actually. It is impossible to run manually. Everything will be. All the concurrence of costing will all be scheduled. Actually. I will not go there. I will not go to the supply chain execution now. Supply chain execution. And then I go to the receipt accounting. I go to the receipt accounting. Fine. Click on the receipt accounting. So go to the receipt accounting. Fine. Go there. So in this place, what I'm going to do is, I will not have a look at it. Fine. Click on it. So we will not go on and change the order. Fine. You know, saying exceptions, everything. Fine. Click on it. You know, change the order. Fine. Click on it. Drop it down. I will not choose my cost order. Now, fine. now here, here, we are now going to view by business unit now. Fine. You know, viewing the business unit. So not by org actually. Receiving is by business unit now. Here's one business unit. And click on apply. In the last seven days, fine, we'll not see there is no cost at all. Cost of receipt in the last seven days is nothing. We have got plenty of exceptions. Fine, go there. So this unmatched accrual balances, you will learn it from my others directory now. Fine. This is the taught there. Fine. That you will be learning it from that place. Now we are going to see the cost of receipt. Fine, go there. So click on it. And then here, what happens? They go there. I will now create the receipt accounting distribution. Fine, go there. So this is the place where what happens you're going to create it now. And click on the create receipt accounting distribution now. And click on it. So we don't have any run control and all. Fine. You go there and then provide your view. So here's one and then give it a Bring it over. So it's okay. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So the distributions get created automatically. And click on submit. So click on submit. By which what happens? Uh, 10 quantities and the price of 10 has now come into this org. 
mean second law. So the cost of results will be hundred dollars actually. So we'll now go there and then we will now what happens? Go there and then we'll now go to the monitor also and then have a look at it. So here what happens? It will be two, three concurrence will be running up. When you make a result, fine. First of all, create result accounting will be started. It will be passed and then it will now spawn a child called import. So the transactions from the interface table will be brought to the base table. So. And then after I think four concurrence actually. So once when the import process is completed, it will now do the distribution creation actually. Fine, distribution creation. And then one more concurrent called sub process for the distribution also will run. There will be four concurrents running on create, create accounting distribution. It is now passed. Now importing is happening. So once when the import completes, what happens? The distribution creation concurrent will run now. So the distribution creation. Now the parent is passed. All the child will be running. Now what happens? The distribution uh, will be running now. So distribution creation, fine. Now got succeeded. Fine that. Now what happens? The distribution concurrent will run. So create accounting distribution is running. Fine that. Now what happens? This, if you go there, click on it. Fine. It is not going to run now. Fine. Click on it. So this is now going to trigger a sub process. So this one will be getting a sub process of a distribution sub process. Click on it. I think only three. I'm not sure about it. I think it's only three. Wait, wait. It is a sub process actually. So once when everything is completed, the parent will run and then all happens, it will be getting completed actually. There's only three processes. I'm sorry. There's only three. So after the import is completed, what happens? The distribution sub process is running. So that will be creating the receipt accounting distribution. Fine. Go that click on it. It will be getting a receipt accounting distribution. Is now got now the parent will now start run. The parent will now start run. That is also succeeded. So once when everything is succeeded, we can review the receipt accounting distribution. You go to the overview and go that. And then here, what happens? If you give us refresh now, fine, you can now see hundred dollars would have been the cost of it. Now, fine, click on refresh. So because I already chosen the US one business unit for the past seven days, fine, click on refresh now. If you refresh it, it should be hundred and ten, right? How come? One dollar is not there. I am not given the what happens? The non recoverable tax actually. So the distribution has not got created actually. The distribution has not got created. We'll go that one. We'll go that one. We'll not go to the review receipt accounting distribution. We'll not go to the review receipt accounting distribution. Go that one. So what happens? I will not say uh, item starts with fine T zero one one zero. Go that one. I will not give only one parameter and then try to search for it. No, click on it. You know, search only on one parameter actually. Ah, it's not coming. I will not say it starts with use one. Give it a fine click on search. So once we search for it, because it has to come. The review receipt accounting distribution has to come now. Fine, you know, a date on or after only. It's okay. T0110. <clears throat> so it has got completed now. Fine. We are now pushed into the interface area. And then afterwards, we run the create distribution. Fine, I will now say underscore IOT. Click on search. Oh, God. Inventory organization or uh, equals to, I will now say T012 uh, now. Fine, that is where or the receipt accounting will now take place. Click on search. Invalid number, fine, drop it down. Click on search now. Click on search. It is a T01. So click on search. Oh God, somebody has made some modification now. If you are stopping my work, it will be very difficult actually. Fine, the organization itself is not coming at all. Not coming. This so we made the receipt accounting distribution. Fine. <coughs> so this is name. Eh? Not... Name. No, fine. Not, I put the T01 only. When I put T01, then also it's not coming. Fine, go to the advanced. Fine. Yeah, it was, yeah. Does oh, not contain. I will not say is it and then have a look at the bank account search. No, see the organization. All the organizations are coming, but whereas my organizations are not coming at all. None of my organizations, ambitions organizations only coming. Right? None of the thing. Who has done it? Security issue. Security issue, sir. Security means and what our security now? Under which view we are in. We are you use one not fine use one business business unit. T zero one child one is there. You can say is there, huh? Yes, T zero one. Yeah, it is there actually. Both the things are there actually. 
so we have both the organizations over here find uh, you want so click on it and then uh, whatever is it? you know remove this right? click on search right? come on why it's not coming come 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 okay somebody made a made some made something and then whatever is it? you know log out and log in and then again see you know the organization is coming actually so click on done I will know log out and log in. No, click on it, sir. Uh, you can just search based on uh, you know just based on the date itself. One second, let's see. I will know sign out and sign because somebody might have modified and then they might have brought back in. Fine, last time it happened like this. No, I will know see whether he has brought back in the settings. No, because there are technical guys can do a lot. No, man. they can do plenty of things on this. No, I will know go to this place. Like receipt accounting, where go there? I will know go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the receipt accounting. <clears throat> Goes there, right? So click on it. Fine. Okay, refresh it. The cost of it is not uh, done at all. The distribution was not created at all because it's not having anything at all. Fine. It has not reached, but it has not done at all. The distribution is not created. Then click on it. Please check the exceptions. The exceptions is very difficult because it's now in the vision. Now, fine. So many exceptions will be there now. 12,000 exceptions are there actually. <laughs> oh. receiving... No, receiving only four. Receiving only four. Four, no, fine, brother. So 2,000. Uh, document number is what? 1,002 actually. Fine, brother. Believe it. Yeah, our item is Transfer there. Is not processed because the related trade events are not done. Oh, God. Related trade events. Because the related trade events, what other thing? Fine, come on. You know, saying something, fine, click on it. The transaction will be processed after the trade events generated for the flow are sent to Oracle Cost Management. Actually, no, sir. First, if transfer order, no, then you have to run create account, create cost accounting distribution first. Okay, then maybe, 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 fine. So it needs what for the trade accounts to happen. We have to do the cost accounting first, and then afterwards go on and do the receipt accounting. Fine. Very good, very good. And Vijil is now given a very good point. So we will now perform the cost accounting first, and then afterwards come back to the receipt accounting. Fine. So that is why what happens, it has not picked up at all. Right? On the one, it has not picked up. Good, good. Somebody has asked me to go on and see the errors. Fine. The errors is not showing clearly now. So let us now go there and then we will now do the cost accounting first and then after we will do the receipt accounting because the trade events are not happening actually. Fine. So we will now go there, click on the star icon. I will now go to the cost overview and then let me do the cost accounting first. Then click on it. I will now go to what? Uh, I will now uh, what the create cost accounting distribution. Fine. Over there. So it needs a trade account to be triggered for which what happens? It needs this cost accounting to be done first. So T01, fine, click on search now. So click on search, no coming, then click on schedule box. So we are now running the what's called the cost accounting now. So the distribution creation for the cost accounting is now happening. Whereas for the receipt accounting, it is now asking for the business unit actually as a parameter. So go there, click on it. So the cost accounting is now happening. So the cost accounting will now trigger the trade events actually. Fine. There are plenty of trade events there. Go there and then see. No, fine, go there. So we'll have so many trade events actually. This is one. Interorganization payables, trade clearing, receiving inspection, trade in transit. Fine, go there. So there are all the trade events on the, uh, in the receipt accounting and the cost event, what happens, you'll be having this one. So there are eight events. So in total, what happens, there are five things which you have to, five or six things. No, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six, we have to, what happens, learn it fully actually. So we'll be learning it. So we are now creating the trade events first of all. There are trade events actually, and trade events. So the trade events are now getting what happens? They're triggered by a receipt accounting. Now. We'll now go there. Fine. Where is my what is this place? I know logged out and logged in. Fine. That's why it's now gone. No, fine. Go on. I will now go to the tools and then I go to the schedule to process and then have a guide. So go there. Fine. Click on refresh now. Click on refresh. Do you see? So create cost accounting distribution is now running. So once when it is completed, we will run the receipt accounting distribution. So cost accounting distribution is now triggering the trade events. So once when that is done, what happens? We will now run the receipt accounting. In reality, what happens? All of them will be scheduled concurrence. They will all be running one after the other. First time it may fail. Next time that is running. Then this time when it comes, what happens? It will be, it will be passing. Nana, did you set the trade in transit uh, mapping set? Nothing. We are going to set it up now. So what happens? It will be giving a problem only for accounting, but costing will not have a problem. Costing will be perfect now. Fine. For if the mapping set is not set, then accounting will not happen. So go there. So here, what happens? We will know uh, where is the one. Great cost accounting distribution is still running actually. 
So it is a big concurrent. It will not run for approximately two minutes now. Fine. You have to wait for it to complete. So once it is completed, we will now go and then do the receipt accounting distribution. Now run. Now no, sir, you can run. Okay. Great cost accounting distribution is not succeeded. No fine. It's not succeeded. We will not go there. I will not go to this place. Fine. Click on cancel. No fine. We will not. What happens? Do a receipt accounting distribution. So click on it. I will not go to the supply chain execution. I will not go to the supply chain execution. Let me go there. I will not go to the receipt accounting. <clears throat> I will not click on the receipt accounting. Let me add it to the favorite section. So click on the favorites and then let me add to the favorites. Now, click on add favorites. I will not say receipt overview. Then click on save and pause. Now, what happens? You go there. We will not create the receipt accounting distribution. Create receipt accounting distribution. So business unit is the one point over there. US one. That is the parameter is asking for. Whereas for the cost accounting distribution, nothing is asking for. Thank you, Kondabai. So we are now giving this as a parameter now. Use one business unit. So we'll now wait for the thing to complete now. So once when this is import is not run, fine. So afterwards, what happens? <clears throat> the distribution sub process will run actually. Once when the import gets completed. Whereas we don't have such a concept in cost accounting distribution. It runs directly. Cost accounting will be running here. What happens? It will be running as a three concurrent. Just a one concurrent concurrent. Here in the receipt accounting, it will be three concurrent. Three years is jobs. So you put transactions from the interface table to receipt accounting. No running, running, running. We are not given the mapping set at all. Right? None of the mapping set is set actually. So their accounting will be a problem actually. So the sub process is running now. So one this is completed. What happens? All these things has to come as what succeeded. So the success will be seen on the infolet itself with a receipt cost of hundred dollars in the past one week. So the past one week's receipt cost will be coming now. Thank you for that. So it's not completed. Thank you. All of them are succeeded actually. Now we'll not go there. Thank you. If I refresh it, you have to have hundred dollars over here. Click on refresh now. Come, 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 come. Hundred dollars to come. Refresh it. Whatever we got hundred dollars. That means what? The receipt accounting is made actually. Fine for ten quantities at the, at the price of ten dollars. What happens? The receipt accounting is made. We'll now go and then have a review of it. Now, fine, click on it. We'll now go to the what? Review receipt accounting distribution. Fine, create is there. Fine, go there. Review receipt accounting. Anna, hmm. you added one dollar as shipping cost, right? No, I not added. Yesterday only I added. Today I didn't add. Okay, <laughs> purposely didn't add at all. I made only item prices only ten. I have not added anything on the shipping cost. Who is this? Yes, so, I think you added the cost. No, no, no. I not cost added. $1. I uh, added. Somebody also asked me whether the non-recoverable tax, is it mandatory or not? Remember? While doing it, I told him it is not mandatory actually. Yeah, we did not add that. Mm, I did not add that. I added only item cost and not the non-recoverable cost actually. Fine. I, Anna, sir, uh, no. Sir. Sir, you didn't add the non-recoverable tax, but you uh, added the shipping cost. Whereas, yeah, yeah, no, also... uh, yeah, yeah. Now, Tijil says that shipping cost. I don't know. We'll know. Learn from him about where to see the shipping cost. Actually, oh, <laughs> uh, it will not be reflecting over here, sir. No, no, it will not reflect here. Now, when somewhere okay. it will be reflecting. Actually, I don't know where exactly it is going to reflect. Now, fine, we'll not, we'll not see from the Tijil itself. Okay, sir. Thank you. Learn. Actually, he was telling that in the old version it was not used only the new version it is getting used so he maybe said that a bug actually he told that it is a bug and then the bug has been recovered. Yeah. uh we will not see maybe but... yeah maybe in our version it is not fixed <laughs> is it 24 a <laughs> year how come we can see now right? so you know 24 you are working on 24 a actually okay. we'll not see fine brother. so click on the review receipt according distribution fine click on the review receipt according distribution bank with account i will not say item starts with what happens the t 0110 so click on search I'm not giving any minimal parameter. We'll not see if it doesn't come, then we'll not give more, 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 and more parameter. So we got it. So we got the distribution of that. So it says what the distributions are processed. It. The distributions are processed. So one is what interorganization transfers. One is called interorganization transfer. One is the shipping reference. So if you go to a document now, thank you want it. You know, see what happens. You'll be having one. What happens? One is the interop transfers. Of which what happens? There will be two entries. <coughs> one is the receiving inspection. We get divided. And then the contra entry is what? Trade in intrinsic valuation. Now go on and here. What is the interorganization transfers? And then here, what happens? You go there and then go to the distribution directly. So the average transfer price is ten dollars. Is the item price actually? So item price is now coming as ten dollars. Fine. We'll not see the shipping cost is not coming anywhere at all. 
you click on the distribution fine click on the distribution on the first one over there so trade in intrinsic valuation is credited actually trade in intrinsic valuation is credited we are working on the real accounts and so credit means what the value will come down actually the trade in intrinsic value is now coming down fine what is trade in intrinsic value what happens it don't credit and then the receiving inspection is debited the receiving inspection is not debited for us journal entries are not made and then you go to the next one of fine click on the shipment reference in the shipment reference is the source type actually if you go there and then have a look at it now, in the shipment reference what happens you know see interrog payables is now credited you know see interrog payables interrog payables is now credited fine the credit is coming fine over there and then the trade clearing is now debited the trade clearing is debited so now let us now run the credit accounting and remember none of them none of the mapping sets are set actually so we need to set up these four mapping set for what happens doing the credit accounting so now distribution process so now let us now run the what happens the credit accounting we will not run the credit accounting so go to the credit accounting we are going to run the credit accounting for the receipt receipt accounting so go there so previously we run for the cost management now we are running it for receipt accounting you go to the receipt accounting so ledger is what us primary ledger so put the us primary ledger over here us primary ledger go there so here what happens you go there I will not make it to the detail of fine. No, it is not going to post anything at all because all of them are going to end in error now. Thank you, Consul. You know what? Now go to the monitor process and create accounting. It will also give you a create accounting report also. Through the report also, we can monitor actually. So we'll now wait for the create accounting to come up. Okay? It will now be triggering so many concurrence actually. And if everything is successful, what happens? The post journals also will happen. But here, some journals are getting posted because some other is a vision. Now, right? US one, so many people would have done it. So some of them may get posted. Some of them may not. Actually, fine. <coughs> so journals are process fine for the other ones. What happens is nothing. But for us, it will be failure actually. So since it is a failure for us, it will be ending up in a warning actually. Thank you, it. So that will be ending up in a warning. Nana, if, don't we don't, if we don't set up any of these costing related setups, right? Yeah. You can still perform transaction, just the costing entries won't flow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, as a supply chain consultant, you are supposed to have what as a fully costed now. They really want whatever they say. It's all distribution process that's to come. On the receipt accounting, you have to have this as a success. If we are getting the distribution process, then whatever your activity is complete. Accounting is not your headache, actually. Right. Accounting, uh, they may even ask you to set up, but uh, they take the responsibility of accounting. If something is not okay, whatever they will do. Import journal is running because some other uh, transactions are successful on the US one business unit because of which whatever is not happening. But ours, ours is a failure, right? Go that to So, great accounting is still running fine. Click on it. Now, go on and have a look. Now, it has now ended up in a warning actually. So, if you go there and then requery it, the transaction status will not change from distribution process to error now. Thank you, search. The transaction status will not go to distribution process to error actually. No error. Now let us now correct the error actually. Now go there. Now the I will not go to the intro transfer first. Now fine. Go there. Come on. I will not go to the journal entries directly. I will not go to the journal entries. So we'll have to correct. So these four mapping sets has to be there. Fine. If you're having an in transit, fine. If you expand it, what happens? It will not say which mapping set is missing actually. So here, what happens? Uh, the input source for the in-transit result. So this is the mapping set which they are using it now. So you take an exact copy of it now. Remember, in reality, what happens is you have to ask, uh, if a financial team is asking you to set up these things, what happens is you only have to ask which mapping set they have done. So take a copy of the mapping set from this place now. Fine. It is the in-transit valuation underscore RA. That one has to be set now. Fine. I, will not go, I will not go to this place. Fine. Click on that. We will not set up that one. Click on okay now. Fine. We will not set up that one. Whatever we have seen now, fine. We are taking a copy of it. Fine, click on it. We will now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> we go to the setup and maintenance, and then here we have to set up the exact one, whatever has come now. Click on it. Whatever we go there in this one, I will now go to the manage mapping set. Manage percentage, fine. Map percentage, set percentage. I will now go to the manage mapping set of cost accounting, and then query the exact mapping set which the system is now throwing an error now. Fine, this place, whatever the mapping set which is now throwing an error. We will now go there. And then click on it and go there. So click on the manage mapping set. Fine. The scope is already there now. Fine. Click on it. Manage mapping set. Otherwise, the scope has to be set now. So click on the search and then paste whatever mapping set you have taken now. And then click on search. So whatever it is not showing you, that only I do now. Ah. In transit valuation, maybe it is having what? What is not coming now? Fine. Click on it. 
tree sorry this is a full name from here no fine not this place i have taken a half name no fine trade in transit valuation underscore or if fine that is the name you go there click on it i will not put this now. so trade in transit valuation bank click on search so we will now add the value for our org actually fine click on it so click on search now. we are searching for it oh god again not coming again so my experience is there okay. ah I think it is only transit valuation RA. Once again, trade. I will now go on and search for it. Okay. So trade in transit valuation is coming, but underscore RA is not coming. Trade in transit valuation is coming. Once again, trade in transit valuation. Fine. I will now remove this underscore and then trade in transit valuation. Ah, I made a mistake now. I should have searched it not in the cost management but on the receipt accounting. So it is not a cost management. So this is a mistake. By the way, it's not coming. Fine. This value, this mapping set is not coming because it is a receipt accounting. And so I have to set query this one only on the receipt accounting and not on the cost accounting. I made a mistake actually. So click on done. Fine. I will not go on and query on the receipt accounting. So go there. So I will not what happens? You go there. So I will again write manage percentage fine. Map to percentage fine. Set percentage fine. This time, what happens? I will not go to the receipt accounting and not cost accounting actually. So I had to go to the receipt accounting. I go there. So click on the manage mapping set of the receipt accounting. Not cost accounting. And remember, receipt accounting will not have a scope at all. Only cost accounting will have a scope actually. So click on the manage mapping set of the receipt accounting and click on it. And then click on search now. Here it will be available. Go back on. Don't paste it. Fine. Click on search now. It will be available. So it is not available on the cost accounting. It is available on the receipt accounting only. Fine. Click on it. On the receipt accounting. Fine. On the top you can see the receipt accounting. Go down now. Choose your chart of accounts. Fine. Go there. And then make an entry first. <clears throat> so click on plus now. Fine. I will not make an entry. So go there. Uh, here, what happens? I have to first of all take the account actually. If I give a cancel, cancel. I will not have to take copy of the account number. Mm -hmm. And click on it again now. Because go there. Fine, go there. Go to this place, fine. So here, what happens? Somebody has now enhanced this field now. I will not click on it. I will not take a full copy of that. This account will be given by the financial team, remember. This account will be given by the financial team. So go there. And then take a copy of the full account number. Only four segments are coming. What is this? Ah, you are a So, so many people have modified on this number. So, we will not take a copy of the full account number. Take a full account. And then click on plus. And then go there. It is a T012. Now, I am in the receipt accounting. So, I have to give the destination everywhere now. And then the category, I should not put a star. You drop down and then choose a star now. The top. Drop down. Whereas the other one, you can put a star. Now. Item number, I can put a star. Now. And then I can put it. So this account will be given. So you financials has got a different account for this. No, fine. We have to give the, those accounts. No, fine. They will be giving you a list on an email actually. So we are now completed what? This one now, fine. Trade in transit account is now set actually. You got it now, fine. What else? Click on save and close. It's not done. Trade in transit valuation underscore RE is set actually. It will not go to this place, it is not set actually. So, in this one, we have got only one actually, one event is coming, fine, go there. <coughs> second is not coming at all. So, we will now keep the second one, now, fine, go to the shipment reference. <coughs> it has got two now. <coughs> so, trade, <coughs> this one is what? Trade in transit. Trade in transit valuation, fine. You can now see that what happens. The trade in transit valuation is now complete. I will now, what happens, go there. I will now mark it in a different color. As a man do it, all other than one. You must commit. Trade in transit valuation on the topic. Will now go there, click on it. I go there. So I will now go to what? The shipment reference. My shipment reference when I expand it. So here, what happens? You now have what? Again, trade clearing RA. So the trade clearing RA has to be set now. Fine, click on it. The trade clearing RA. Will not take a copy of it. Will now go there. Go to this place. Fine. Query for this trade clearing RA. RA stands for receipt accounting. Fine, go there. And then query for it. Fine, click on search. It will be coming. You know, so this is also I'm going to set it. Go there. So your startup account is the one. Fine, go there. Want. And then go there. I will not take a copy of this account actually. And then go there. I'm not taking a copy of this account. Click on plus. Go there. It is a T012. It's a capital T, remember? Go there. Inventory category identify. Drop it down and then make it as a star. Write up the star. <clears throat> and then go there. Fine, click on it. I will not paste it. If any of the stars is missing, it will not even save at all. Remember, it will not even save. You know, given now. 
So click on it, click on save and close by which whatever the second trade clearing RA is now complete. Now. So if you go to this place, bank of that, so the trade clearing RA is now complete. Right? Done. You know what Go down now. And then whatever you go to this place, now I click on it, go to this place. So expand it. I'm going to expand it. And then here, whatever you go there. In this place, what I was going to say, inter-organization payables are it. That does not set it off. No, take a copy of the inter-organization payables are it. And take a copy of it. Now go to this place. And expand it and then search for it. Inter-organization payables are it. Click on search. Nana, are these the accounts that we specify on the inter-org parameters? Or no, no. Parameters oh, no, no. EBS? They are different, actually. We don't have a such thing, right? First of all, what happens is the intro parameters do not have any account at all in Intuition, actually. <laughs> they are similar or not, I am not very sure about it. Right? It may be similar, but I am not very sure about it. You talk to the financial bank. Because payments. in shipping network, we used to have the accounts. Yeah. Whereas when you set the inter org uh, uh, set up, right? Uh, there, uh, there were no accounts. Yeah. In shipping network, where is the account now? We don't have any accounts in shipping. In, in shipping network, you have other tabs wherein you have accounts. That is in eBiz, you're saying. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, again, do not compare eBiz at every stage, actually. Fine. You'll be getting confused only. Fine. Why that is not there, why this is not there is uh, very difficult, actually. Whatever it has you have to do, you have to do only here, now, actually. <laughs> here, shipping networks will not have any account at all. So click on plus now. Go there. T012 go there. Drop down and then choose the category. And here, whatever they go there, put a star here now. And then paste this account over here now. Go to this place, go there. So click on save and close by which whatever the interorganization payables is set actually. Now go there. All right. I will not go to the what? The one now. Right. Interorganization payables. Go there. I will not give a color. Now receiving inspection is also required actually. Right. Receiving inspection is required for the destination org actually. Go that. So I don't know which account it is using actually. Fine. Is the RA account or a one? Fine. I will not go to the receiving inspection and query for it. I will not go to the place. Fine. Receiving. Fine. Enter now. So click on search now. Fine. If RA is available, I will not set up the RA actually. Fine. We have a RA also. Fine. Receiving inspection RA is there. Fine. Go that. So normally they use only RA for this. Uh, fine. Click on the receiving inspection RA. So let us set it up also. Fine. I don't know. It's not coming actually. Fine. Go that. Because what happens? The, that error is now sorted out. In this place, what happens? When you sort out the shipment reference, fine, one of the things is sorted out, then what happens? Second may be coming now. Fine, on it for us. Uh, if you go to the interop, interop transfer, in this place, what happens? Once when you sort out, then the receiving inspection will be coming. Fine, that, was a, that, was a, that may be the reason. Fine, it's not coming. Anyway, we'll not go and send up. So uh, this has been made as a default because of it is not coming. So if you make one of them as a default, it will be applicable for all the orgs actually. That is why it is not coming. Got it now, fine. So you can even make what one one area and then put everywhere star 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 and then made as a default and so that is why the error is not shooting up. Got it now? Anybody can say yes to me. Hello. Yeah, yes, no, no. Fine. That's what it is. So since it is star, when receiving inspection is not throwing any error at all. So we can say uh, ultimately what happens? This is also done because there is a star actually. So all the mapping sets are now set fine. Go that you want. If you don't go there and then do this something like that. Uh, review digit accounting version. I'm not going to set anything at all. I will not go and then again run the credit account. Click on that. I will not run the credit accounting again. So click on the credit accounting. We are going to run it. So go there. So I will not go to the receipt accounting. <clears throat> receipt accounting. Go that. To the US my primary ledger. Go down and find. I will not go for a detail. Find. Go that. This time it will be successful actually. We will not have any error. It is not on point. You are not creating an accounting. Ultimately, what happens is the credit accounting has to be successful, actually. Fine. Uh, you can't say that it is not my issue because what happens is some mistakes you might have made. But ultimately, what happens is uh, everybody becomes uh, in a say, CM and financial team put together because they are doing the SCM accounting now. Right. You can't say that uh, they have not done it properly because they will now sometimes give all the account numbers you have to set it up there on the mapping set, actually. <laughs> the mapping set number uh, and then everything they will now give it to you. So you must know the process. Whenever you are making an IOT in transit, what happens? You have to have these four mapping set got obtained from financials, and then the account also obtained from financials actually. So then, what happens? You can set it up. Everything has to be bring everything in writing actually. Do not uh, over a phone or anything like that. They are giving it no. They must send you a mail, and then that is the proof of what they have given it now. 
fine. Give, get there. Whenever you're making IoT in transit, fine. Or the, these four on the receipt accounting must be up. Um, uh, if they, what happens is many people will be customizing the mapping set actually. Financial will be customizing it. And then you have to get the customized mapping set and then do it actually. So click on it. Fine. Now, this time everything, even the, the import journal is ours now. Actually. Previously, the import journal was not ours. Something, somebody else. Now, what happens it will be importing it also. So once when the import is successfully completed, then what happens is the system becomes ready for a trial balance actually. And remember, in Fusion, we can make only the trial balance as a lost activity. Fine. But what happens is your profit and loss and the balance sheet has to be via Hyperion on uh, Sayed Pasha. What are the utility they use now? Some other utility they will use and then they will not do the profit and loss and balance sheet actually. Infusion, the last activity is trial balance. TB is the last activity in Fusion, actually. You don't know that. So go to the receipt. Go there. So go to this place. What? And then here, what happens? Go and make such. Now, what happens? The transaction status is what will be successful. Now, click on search. You'll be finding that. What happens? The transaction status is final accountant. No, distribution process and final accountant are all reflected on the same area, actually. So it's not perfect, actually. Now, we will now go to the cost accounting. So, receipt accounting activities are complete, actually. Receipt accounting activities complete. Now, we will now go to the cost accounting. We will now go to the cost accounting. So, go there. So, here, what happens? We have to go on and do it now. Fine. So, this one, fine. First of all, we will now see from the error itself, we will now see because what happens? The mapping set may be different. No? It is a generic mapping set, which I have written now, actually. Right? But there, what happens is now coming as with the underscore RE, actually. Right? So, we have to identify from the error, what are the mapping set, which is uh, having a problem, actually. So we'll not go there. We will have to identify the mapping. We will not go to the cost accounting now. Thank you. So click on the star. So it's all done. Fine. Since our distribution is already made, what happens? The cost of receipt is 100 actually. So if you go there, click on it. We will not go to the cost over you. Know. Thank you for the cost over you. So I will not go to the cost accounting. In the cost accounting, I will not choose my R. No. Thank you. I will not choose my R. What is the place? Thank you. So for the T01, right? It was now showing you 4.8k as the inventory valuation actually. So go there. So inventory asset valuation is 4.8k. Somebody is again modified, right? Something here and there. People are shuffling things now, right? So you should somebody has made it as what item cost. So the name of this as item cost is not correct now, right? It's a very rough terminology, right? No, no. Special is the correct terminology, actually. No, yeah. no. Tell me. Uh, just a small question. Suppose uh, you have taken both the orgs in the same uh, cost organization. Yeah. In case if you are sub considering one organization which is not from <laughs> this cost organization. Oh God, I don't know. Uh, when you attend Tijil's training, he will address these questions. Okay. Very okay. complex questions actually. Fine. If uh, uh, your org belongs to some other cost org, fine. How it will be done? I don't know. I know. No, when costing comes into play, you have to look from a profit center uh, business unit because the ultimate goal of this transaction is to you know identify what is your cost and what is your gross margin mm. that ultimately makes a difference if you're doing ultimately all these are buy and sell concepts so what was the question you were asking uh, the person I was asking, asking you boy r1 is in uh, cost r1 and then r2 is cost r2 what will happen <laughs> i mean it depends so if you want uh, so it whether you are trying to do a intra company or i mean mm, maybe. If, if you are, if, so when you say two inventory organizations within the legal entity or outside the legal entity mm, maybe if it so is within the legal, legal entity a company transaction there are more trade events that are going to come uh, and if it is outside the legal entity then intra company uh, accounting will come into play Okay. Then fine. Okay. Okay. Again, what about the discuss with Tijil in detail? What about the maybe in this training also will be highlighting those things. So the inventory asset value is 4.8k. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we have sir. already what happens uh, given the what's called the cost distribution of and we'll now go on and review the cost accounting distribution. Then click on the review cost accounting distribution. Go there. So item, what happens? I will now say starts with go there. So the T0110. I will now see whether it comes or not. Go there. We'll see whether it comes or not. You know, searching for the item only and no other parameter is it came out. So here, what happens? It's all fully costed, but not accounted actually. Mm -hmm. So we made what happens a miscellaneous receipt actually, fine. And uh, then miscellaneous receipt. And then for this item, we have made it nothing other. So one, two, three, four, five. So you ignore it. There are there are four accounting events actually. Mm -hmm. So in transit receipt, fine, in transit shipment, trade in transit shipment, fine, then trade uh, in transit value issue. 
So these four are mentioned over here. So in transit shipment and then trade in in transit value, fine, or the trade in one, the one, fine. So the four accounting events which has happened on this. So we'll not go one by one, fine. What is the in transit receipt now? The in transit receipt. So in transit receipt now, fine. The in transit receipt. So inventory valuation, receiving inspection of the accounts which are hit actually. We'll not go down, fine. So click on the view details. Click on, click on the view details. So in transit receipt, fine. Go there. Click on the view details. Don't go there. Have a look. And then whatever they go there. I will not go to the cost distribution. Now, if I click on the cost distribution, then go there. So, intensive valuation receiving inspection. Now, let us now run the whatever's accounting, and then only whatever they cannot see which mapping set is now giving a problem actually because journal entries are not made actually. So, let us now run the uh, create accounting so that the journal entries will not give all the problems actually. Fine, nothing is created actually. Fine, this is a blank actually. Click on it. I will not run the journal. Fine, go there. Click on the create accounting. So, we will now run the create accounting now. Fine, click on the create accounting on the accounting part. So go there. It is a cost management. Previously, there was a receipt management. Fine, go there. I will not go to the cost management. Cost management. Fine, go there. It's a US fine, primary ledger. This primary ledger. Fine, go there. I will not go for the detail. Go to the details. Go to the place. Fine, go to the So click on it. I will not run it. Fine, go there. So cost management, US primary ledger. Fine, detail. Yes, yes. Fine. Now, what happens? It will not throw all the errors. Actually. So from the errors, what we can do is we can very well uh, what happens, rectify these errors. And again, remember, getting the mapping set from uh, financials is very, very important. You, they may ask you to set up the values also on the mapping set. Fine. Mapping set and then values, they will not give you everything. Sometimes if they do, it will be great actually. Fine. But uh, uh, many times they will not have time because they've got a lot of headache and so many headaches from the financials itself. So they do not want to look at the supply chain headaches actually. So credit accounting is not like So this credit accounting is not going to end in error actually. Because many, many mapping sets are not set at all. Probably. So we'll now wait for the create accounting to end in a, end a warning now. The create accounting will be ending in a warning. So many things are running now. So create accounting as I end up in the morning. Now we will not go into this place. Now bank click on this. I will not give a cancel. And come to the main one. The cost distribution. Fine. We will not requery this. Close it. And then we will not requery. it. Fine. Click on search. Now we are going to requery. So we will not requery it actually. So here not accounted will all be ending with an error actually. All the not accounted. Everything is now ending with an error. So we will now set up all the mapping sets right from the beginning. You go to the in-transit receipt now, and go there and close it up, and then go to the view details, and click on the view details. First one, you know, meet. So go there. I will not go to the journal entries, fine, go there. So you must have that transaction before. Okay, what is it? I had to requery it, actually. What do you want? This. It has to show me the error now, fine, click on search. Now. So click on search. Is there? I mean, not really costly error. Fine, click on the view details. Go to the cost information. Go there. Cost distribution, okay. distribution. <coughs> well, uh, and now go to the journal entries only. Thank you, not journal entries. No, not sure. So here, what happens? Uh, uh, in transit receipt, shipment reference, everything is not showing you fine. You must account the transactions before viewing the journal entry. Actually, we did the accounting, huh? Or is it still running now? In this place, what happens is no still running or what? Ah, now only it has succeeded. No, and some of them has got succeeded just now only. Will now again requery it. No, fine. Click on done. Will now requery it. Sometimes what happens? There will be a delay. No, now requery it. So click on search. So searching for it. So once when you search for it, it has to show me there is one thing. So click on the view it is. And then go there. Cost information and transactional errors. Journal entries has to show me the error actually. Uh, Nanar, can you click on next and then go back? 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sometimes what happens if you go to the next now, fine. If you go to the next and then come back, what happens? It will be showing you. That's what he's saying. Fine. This is again a bug actually. Fine. He told me last time itself this is a bug actually. Fine. Click on the next on the right hand side top and then come back to the previous. It will be showing you. Know. Yeah. The previous. Fine. You got it. This is a basically a bug. Or something like that. Uh, what happens? You know, there's no come now. Fine. I know. I'm, I don't know whether I'm the proper trace or not. Fine. Click on. I will not click on done and then again go there. Fine. Click on it. So go to this place. Fine. Click on the view details. Fine. Click on the view details. And then here, what happens? You're going to discover. So go to the next and then come back. It shows you know fine for that. Expand it. Go there, go there. So it is now saying what uh, the input value source do not map to any output value for the value. It is only inventory valuation. So take the exact mapping set which the error is not showing you. Otherwise, in reality, what happens? The financials will give you all the values. Don't go to this place. I will not give a done. No fine. Give a cancel. Give a cancel. These are on the receiving area. Let us now go to the costing area and then do it. No fine. Click on done. Now go to the costing area. So click on done. Then come on up it. So on the receipt accounting, what happens? We are completed it. Thank you that. Ah, it has to come. Thank you for it. Now go to the what? Go to the setup and maintenance. And then query for the manage mapping set on the manufacturing and supply chain management. Now thank you that. I will now go to the what? Manage percentage fine. Map percentage fine. Set percentage. So go to the manage mapping set and then go to the cost accounting area. Fine. Click on it. Now go to the space. Thank you for it. You go to the man. The scope is already selected. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So in the costing part, and then what happens? Uh, if you see the inventory valuation to be set for both the orgs, no? we have to set it up for both the orgs actually. If I remember, inventory valuation must be set for both the orgs. Actually. So go that one. We have to set it up for both the orgs, and then go that. This is the value set. Fine, go that one. I will now click on the hyperlink, and then we will now set it up for both the orgs. <laughs> go this place. Thank you. I will now go there. So I will now take up the value. So the value is not taken up properly. We will not take a copy of the value though. So the value is not taken copy. So click on plus and then I will now put for both the arms. Is that T011? Go there. And then uh, in the bottom, what happens? I can put a what happens? This is the, where is it? Go there. I will now put a star here now. Star. And then here the costing category drop down and then choose a star. Fine. Item number is a star. Mm -hmm. I go that. Go to this place, fine. Here, what happens? I will not paste this. Account. And then click on plus now, fine. Click on plus, and then I will have to give it to the second order. So, 3012. This is again a star. So, here it dropped down and then choose the star. And then item number is a star. I'm manually putting it, fine. Go that. I will not paste it, fine. So, we are given the inventory valuation for both the orgs, actually. So, T011, 0125, go that one. So it is now complete actually. So we are given it for both the arcs for our single. So the combination of inputs fine and defective range does, is not unique now. Fine, what is the thing? You know this place of star star star. What it is saying? You know, see any extra spaces there, fine. Give a home now and then give a end. Okay, no extra space actually. Here also, whatever they Maybe do. for one organization, it is already defined, sir. T011 is already defined, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very correct. So, t yeah, very correct. No, fine. T011 is already defined. So, we will now remove the T011 and then de delete it. Because yes, we have done it yesterday, it's fine. Delete it. So, T011 is one. So, that is the reason that it is not unique, actually. Yeah. Unique constraint. Fired it now. And, uh, so, click on it. And then give a save. Now, fine. Click on save. And then it is now saved actually. We will now go there and then query on the T01. So T01 and then make an entry now. We will now see whether it now shows both the orgs or not. Not showing me anything at all. T011, I will now go and then query for it now. Ah. Go there, give a cancel now. Right? Give a cancel. No, no, change. Sir, you are selecting your first, sir. Ah, 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 ah. I am not selecting it in the proper manner. So here, what happens if you go to the query mode now? Fine, go there. Inventory organization is the one top. Fine, go there. There's a T zero, and then enter now. Go there and then query for it now. Now both the orgs are coming. So that means what? This was already existing, and so it didn't came at all. It's okay. Fine, you cancel. Fine, go there. In this place, what happens? We will now go to what inventory valuation now set. Fine, select it and then put a green tick mark. Give a comment. In order. Go there. So next one is what? You go there. So this is the one. So you expand it now. Fine, click on expand it. Go that one. 
So he here it is receiving inspection only on only on receipt accounting they have set up on receiving inspection RA. Right on the cost accounting they have set up only on the receiving inspection. Remember only on the receiving receiving or receipt accounting they have set up on receiving inspection RA. So every mapping set must be obtained from them very properly now. Paste it as a query for it. Go there. And then have a look at it about where and all we had to set up. Right? Receiving inspection only for the destination we had to set up. And not for the source actually. Because we are receiving it only on the destination. And so what was that? Only for the destination or we had to set up the receiving inspection. Go there. Click on it. I will not select it. Then go there. Go down. I will not take copy of the value. <laughs> go down. No. Take copy of it. Copy. Oh God. I will not. <laughs> I made up. What was it? I made a miss actually, man. Instead of copying, I cut it actually. Now go ahead, click on S. Now cancel and come on, right? Whenever you are making a mistake, do not try to fiddle around on the same thing. Fine, go ahead, go on. So go to this place when you want. I will not take a copy of it now. Instead of copying it, I will cut it. Maybe I can even paste it also. Fine, go ahead, take copy. So click on plus now, fine. Only for the destination, we had to make it. So T012 is the one. Fine, go ahead. So this is a star actually. And then category you drop down and then choose the star item number also you can choose a star now and then paste the account only for the, because in the source organization we are not going to make any receipt at all fine only for the destination we are making now fine for that one and then go there and then click on save and close so receiving inspection is now set actually so receiving inspection set we select it and then what happens it color it out <clears throat> coming so these two things are then fine go there, go there, go there. So in the first one, what happens that we have now done the setup of the both the mapping sets actually. Thank you for next. Next also we can give. Otherwise, what happens? You can go to the next line. Next also will not take it to the next one. So the trade in transit receipt now. Thank you for click on the view dates. I will not go on. Click on the view dates. And then here, what happens? Go to the general entry. And everything is having error. Fine. It's expanded. So it is called uh, trade in transit valuation, not RA. Remember. It is not a receipt accounting. Right? So to distinguish the receipt accounting mapping set and then the normal mapping set, they have added one RA also to them. So go there. Trade in transit valuation has to be set. You now go there and see. So the trade in transit valuation to be set for both the source and destination. Fine, go there. So here it is a very big concept actually. Trade in transit is a very big concept. And then I will know. Uh, rather, I have got only some explanation. Whereas uh, Tijil will be able to give a beautiful explanation on this. No, fine. Whatever I know, I will explain it. So it is now viewed from the source as well as destination also. Trade in transit. It is considered as an accounting entity. So the accounting entity is now viewed from the source and destination. Fine, go there. So this trade event is a very important one actually. It has to be set for both the source and destination. Fine, go there. So you're taking a copy of it. Go there, click on it. Well, now go on and search for it. No RA will come because what happens? The RA is only for the receipt accounting. So click on it. And then you click on the hyperlink of it. Go there, click on it. I will not choose the US. US, US no, fine, go there, come on. I will not go down now, fine, on it. I will not give a plus now, fine. Before which whatever they go there, we will not take a copy of it now. We will not take a copy of it, fine, go there, come on. I will not give a plus now, fine. I am going to give it for both the orgs now, fine, go there. Without T011, fine, go there. It's a star. <clears throat> Drop down and then choose a star. Here again a star. And then paste this account. So go there. And then click on plus now. Remember, getting the account on email is an important one because my student, one of the students has got struck actually by verbal means he has noted down. And then that guy is saying that I never told this at all. Later on, what happens when it comes to the financial accounting and then it is not matching the, what happens, the expectations of the end client, they will all throw the blame on you that this guy has made a mistake. So go there. So now we are given for both the accounts. Now, fine. Trade in transit is a very uh, complex one to understand. Fine. I will not try to explain to the extent which I know. Fine. Afterwards, what about Tijil will explain. Now. Click on seven plus. The trade in transit valuation is not complete. Fine. Go there. Come on. I will not say trade in transit valuation is complete. Fine. Select it and then what happens? You grade out. <coughs> that is also done. Plus now. So we have got two more things to be done. Now, fine. Go there. Now go back here. Now, fine. Go on. I will not go there. Trade in transit receipt. Now, fine. Expand it. Now go to the trade in transit receipt. Fine. Go there. Come on. So is what it's called trade clearing. <coughs> the trade clearing has to be set up. Fine, get that one. No go there. So this is for the destination org actually. Trade clearing is always for the destination org. Fine, go there. Come on. If you no go to the place, fine, you want it. I will not query for the trade clearing. 
paste it and click on search no thank you for search take any other one so click on the hyperlink of it and then go there click on the hyperlink of it and then choose this us one chart of accounts now and like what and then here i will not take up the trade clearing value now. and these are all the trading events actually so there are all the trading events and go that so take a copy of it and go that click on plus one. so this is for the destination of and go that the t012 is the one fine go that i will not give a star here and then drop down the category and then put a star over here fine click on this, this is a star now. go there so i will not give the output now fine go that paste it over here now fine click on it. this is the only one which i am going to give it so the trade clearing is now set fine click on save and close now the trade clearing is set and go that part i will not mark the trade clearing as what set actual so now only one is left now fine go that so inter organization is visible click on it. i will not go to the place fine go that so it's not done so in transit uh, trade in transit value is set the so trade clearing is also set now so click on next also we can do otherwise what am i going to go to the next one in transit shipment i go there fine so click on the view details fine click on the view details Go there. Click on it. I will not go to the journal entry. Fine. Go there. So expand it. Go there. So if the trade in transit valuation is already set, actually. Fine. It's already, it's already set. Fine. No need to worry at all. Trade in transit valuation is already set. And go there. So if you go on and see, trade in transit valuation is already set, actually. So close it now. Fine. Go there. We will not go to the fourth one. The miscellaneous is that. We will not go to the fifth one now. Fine. Trade in transit issue. Now. Trade in transit issue is one. Fine. Go there. So click on the view details now. Fine. Click on it. I will not go to the journal entry. Fine. Go there. Expand it. So here, what happens, you know, say inter-organization receivables. There, it is inter-organization payables, fine. Payables RA, fine. So in this place, what happens, the contra entry is what inter-organization payables RA, actually. That is what they have done now. So it is the inter-organization receivables. For the source or we are doing it. So we are doing it only for the source or fine. Go there, come on. You know, take an F, go there. So you know, take a copy of it. You will not go there. Click on it. You know, expand it. And then choose this one. So inter organizations receivables now. Click on search. You're searching for it. Click on it. Now go over there. Thank you on it. You now go there and then say it. Now go to the US chart of accounts. Now click on it. The one you go there. So uh, it is for the source org we had to set up. Choose this account. Find this account they have used now. Thank you on it. You will not choose it. So take a copy of it and then click on plus now. Plus. And then choose for the source org. The T011. Find over there. And then put a star here. If you're making a mistake, please point out to me. Star here, you know, item number is star, <coughs> and then paste this account. So we are now set up all the accounts. <sighs> so click on save and close. So all the accounts are now set actually. Okay. So now what we do is what this is also set actually. Well, I have now put them on. Everything is now set actually. Now we can very well run the create account. So if you run the create accounting, then what happens? You will be resulting into what is fully accounted actually. It has to come as fully accounted. We'll not go there. Click on it. We'll not go to the receipt accounting. Fine, go there. So click on close now. Fine. We'll not run the create accounting again. By the cost management. Fine, click on it. We'll not run the create accounting. Fine, go there. <coughs> go to this place. Fine, go to the cost management. Ledger is what? USP. And then give it a tap. I will not go for a detail. Fine, go there. Now it will be pushing into the payments also. It is GL also. That will be a real push for us because ours is also done fine. Whenever the journal is getting imported, the activity is all complete actually. If you have the import journals running properly, because now since it's the vision, so many things are for other also running. Now it will now run for us actually. The import journals child will be running for us actually. So click on the create accounting and go there. <laughs> So let us now wait for the credit accounting to get completed. Fine. This time I should not get any warning because what happens there? None of our problem. If somebody's problem is there, it will be again ending up in a warning. But we have set up everything successfully, properly, actually. So we should not get the error actually. We'll see. <laughs> Go there, go there, and then we are doing it. Import journal's child is running. Close journal is running. So 
the still running now. Fine. So click on it. Now how to that? So create accounting is again independent warning only. So we'll now go to the review cost accounting and then click on search and then we'll see what is the status of the accounting now. Uh, uh, review cost accounting distribution stuff and all that. So click on it. Uh, I will now make a search and click on search. We'll see whether it is now getting fully accounted. Now. Final accounted is excellent. We got the results. Final account. So we will now go and then look and then analyze the trading events now, right? The trading events we are going to analyze. The very tough one, fine, go there. We will now analyze the trading events, whatever is happening after a break, actually. We will have a break and then we will now analyze the trading. So our activity of receipt accounting and then cost accounting has got completed fully. Now we are going to analyze the trading events, actually, after a break. Any doubts anybody has got? <laughs> uh, the right? Where this uh, Excel file is? Hmm? Uh, this trade events Excel file that you are showing, uh, is it available on the channel? Yeah, this one, what happens, you can now see, it is the 13th IoT file. Can you go to the drive and then see whether on the, this one now, right? in this place, what happens? It is on the additional docs records file. It is already uploaded actually. The 13th file is uploaded. Okay, thank you. In the additional docs records file, what happens, this is uploaded actually. Any doubts? <clears throat> Good mention. We'll now go for a cup of coffee and then come back by 8.30 p.m. And then we'll now continue on this one. Good then fine. I'll be leaving and then I'll be having a coffee and then coming back. I'll leave a meeting.